What's up, y'all? This is B Name Later Reactions. Um, I just got home and I found out that the Game Awards is going on, so I figured let's just hop right in and and react to this. Um, I didn't do no pre checks, so hopefully everything sound cool. Let's see. I'm looking at my mic. My mic levels is up. Uh, the browsers. Yeah, I ain't do no checks, so. Okay, I can hear that. You all should be able to hear it. All right, bet. Let's get into this. This is the Game Awards 2021, man. On uh, December, what is this? December something, eighth, ninth, one of them days. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Welcome to the 2021 Game Awards pre-show. It's a show for all you completionists out there that. Hey, if you like the video, hit a like, man. Hit the like button. If you dislike it, hit the dislike button. Also, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 500 subs. Or you'll embarrass yourself world premieres. I'm Sydney Goodman, and as you can see, up, I am in person at the iconic Microsoft Theater to hype you up for gaming's biggest night. We are live streaming around the real world and in the virtual world, thanks to Horizon Venues with Oculus. Our main show starts soon and includes massive musical performances, some of the biggest talent and AAA titles. Wait, you don't start yet? Where's that? Game. Hold on, I'm trying to see the actual show. I don't care about none of this pre-show. All oh, that don't matter to me. Thank you so much. Um, I can't believe we won. I don't care about none of this pre-show stuff. On Verizon's 5G network. Yeah, come check it out. We're gonna party hardy until we can't hardly party. Yeah, that. Yep. <laughs> Whatever you just said, I'm definitely not watching that. Are these new trailers that I'm skipping it? Hold on. Does that look like um Godfall that I just skipped? But that was already out. Let me just make sure, man. I'm gonna go back. Pacific and uh we'll be on twitch.tv slash NATO. Yeah, see you guys soon. We drink an angry orchard too, man. Shout out to the angry orchard. If you ain't old enough to drink, don't drink. But if you is old enough, do what you do. Matter of fact, this uh this juice. <laughs> I'm not drinking nothing. This juice. Ragnarok is here. All right, what is this? And it will take the full might of your tribe to turn the tide for Midgard. Yes, even them. I don't like that. It's a colorful ass bear oh, fighting with you. Chosen by the gods for this very moment to cut this giant problem down to size. No pressure. What's with that colorful ass bear, though? I don't fuck with that. Yeah, Godfall. I knew it was Godfall that I skipped the trailer. That came out last year, man. Nobody care about that shit. Hey, this juice good as fuck. What happened? Did this skip? That wasn't me, was it? Maybe it was me. I don't know. A game based on true events. Okay. Hopefully that means it's good. What is this? Okay, it got like a murderer vibe. Yeah. Yeah, definitely a murderer vibe. Who the hell is that? The Texas Chainsaw? The game? Man, you better shoot that nigga, man. 
He got a chainsaw. You better bop, bop. You better come on, man. I think this juice kicking in. Remember the Cartoba. An island. You not running up with me with no chainsaw. You getting shot. I remember the guide stone. The diamond shoulds. The sisters of Balcora spinning a hundred. Did that game even have a release date? I ain't see it. Let me go back a little bit. But that Texas chainsaw. Yeah, it don't have a re a release date. Who making it? Sumo, Nottingham, I never heard of y'all. Gun, I never heard of y'all. Yeah, I never heard of them developers and they don't have a release date. So I'm thinking maybe this 2021. This probably not gonna come out to 2023. It has no release date. It don't even say like holiday 2022. It don't say nothing. So 2023 at the earliest. World premiere. All right, bet. Let's get to the next one. I remember the Cartoba, an island in a dune sea. Okay. I remember the guide stone, the diamond shoulds, the sisters of Balcora spinning a hundred billion stars. It looked nice. It looked like a cool. Of the core. I don't know what this is, but it looked cool. I remember opening the heck? gate. Just transport it. I remember opening the gates. Mass Effect? No, I didn't. Mass Effect. No Man's Sky? No. It looked too. It looked too real to be No Man's Sky. This has got to be like a new IP. Yeah, because I ain't never seen that chick before. This got to be a new game. Is she controlling it? Is she controlling all the ships? Was it so long ago? No. Not so long. But not long enough. Graphics kind of struggling. Unless they want unless they want it to be like a paint looking game. Gearbox. Okay, I heard of Gearbox. Homeworld 3. I never heard of that though. Come in 2022. Holiday. So it's probably going to get pushed back 2023. <laughs> Whenever they say a date, you just got to push it back. Just off rip. You got to push it back. Games never come out when they say they're going to come out. They always get pushed back. Dang, Kina, Kina. Chill out. She moving my camera. My dog sleep up under the camera. She not up under it, but she buy it. Chill out, man. Just go to sleep. And now I have the honor of announcing the winners for four esports categories. For best esports athlete, here are the yeah, nominees. Hold on. How they just announced the winners? They didn't even say who competed or nothing. And the game award goes to Simple. Shout out to Simple. Congratulations. I don't know who you are, but shout out to you. And now here are your nominees for best esports team. Phase. And the game award goes to Nadis Vincier. Don't know who y'all is, but shout out to y'all. Maybe OTF Gaming gonna be up For there one day. Esports coach. Here are the nominees. And the game award goes to Coma. Okay. Congratulations, Coma. Good Coma. And for best esports event here. Hold on, wait. Let me read them out, man, because they going through it. Best esports event. League of Legends. Um, I never watched League of Legends. I heard of it. PGL Major. That sounds like some Europe. I don't know what that is. PGL Major Stockholm. That sounds very European, man. I don't know what that is. PUBG. PUBG Mobile? Not even the regular PUBG, just PUBG Mobile. Okay. The International. That could be anything. Um, Valorant. 
played Valorant like once or twice. Let's see who wins. I'm going to say, I'm going to do my little prediction. Probably League of Legends. And the game award goes to 2021. Mm -hmm. I'm right. I'm one for one. World Championship. Oh, shit. I'm one for one. League of Legends World <laughs> Championship. And congratulations. I'm halfway through this juice. Winners. It's good. And now we have three more world premieres in a row ready for you, spanning all different genres and niches. 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 And to start us off, rising from the ashes to take their rightful place as gaming royalty. Once How do you again, say that? Niche? Tell I say Tale niche. Games is back and better yeah, I than say ever, niche. And I cannot wait. I don't say no niche. I've heard stories about you. I know you've been a rock hopper. So you survived the crushing blast. Artemis? Base. Destiny? No. Worth the docks on the series. So you don't put up with any bullshit. Uh, excuse me. You were Dawes' attack dog. Uh, so you don't have more. any problems killing inners or belters who disagree with the OPA. Belters? Belters, belters. Um, 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 belters. I heard that before. Outer space belters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that one show. Oh, what show was that? I used to watch it. It was on Amazon. Uh, I watched like the first two seasons. Uh, The Expanse. Yep. They they call people belters who lived out on like um in Mars, or like the asteroid belt. Yeah, people live in Mars, but also people live on the asteroid belt, and like little stations. They called them belters. Hmm. Is they making an Expanse game? I've heard quite a bit about you, Kamina Drummer. It's hard to tell if it's all true, though. Truth is truth. How you deal with it is up to you, Boss Man. Boss Man. Oh, it is the expanse. Telltale. Telltale. The people who made The Walking Dead and the uh, Batman and what else they made? Grim Fairy Tales. I thought they, I thought the Telltale Studios got, uh, what you call it, got disbanded. Huh, I thought they was out of business. Because didn't, like, they made the last Telltale game, didn't they have to, like, outsource it? Because I thought the Telltale Studios was, like, out of money or something, and they disbanded. This is interesting. So Telltale made, so they made a comeback. And they made an ex the expanse from Amazon. That's I never would have seen this coming. This is two series, the expanse series and the Telltale Game Studios. I never would have seen this happening. Never. This Hi, is a good I'm show, though. G from Amazon's hit show, The Expanse, and I'm thrilled to be exploring this great character further. Why oh, she Check smile like that? <laughs> issue of Game Informer to learn more about The Expanse. She smiled like real toothy, like, like this, like, he smiled like, I tuck like this with my teeth in that. <laughs> I tuck, I tuck with my teeth. <laughs> but not everyone has the power to make it happen. You only got slaves? Square Enix. Your bond with the Gideon Coffin gives you strength. Powers. Control. The only thing you can't do is go back. Okay, new game. There's got to be a new game. I don't really like dungeon games myself, so it's not really looking too appealing to me. I don't like dungeon crawling. It's time to ascend.
Babylon Fall, okay. March 2022, that means it's coming out fall 2022. Bet. Okay, first person, third person, first person. Damn. Free weekend. Play now. And coming soon. Take the village. Come for the highlands. Oh, he won. Ooh. You saw how he won that uh that hammer up? Look at him. He put his back into it. Take the village. Come for the highlands. He wound that boy up. Look at him. Bop. <laughs> he sent him off his feet. Bop. <laughs> Dang. They hit hard in this. Defy the iron fist. Overway. Oh, dang. He missed. He moved out the way. Why these niggas got on ghost head, man? What kind of demonic shit y'all on, man? He got a candy cane in his hand. Shit, miss. <laughs> I have something for you. Interesting. What's up, everybody? I am Ariel Powers, and I'm at The Game Awards. Let me take you on a tour. I don't that's think I was going to play that game, but and this is it looked interesting. Game. That's pretty much it. <laughs> we'll be hanging out with myself and Nate Hill tonight on his Twitch channel. She got a lot Make of makeup sure on. Through. It's going to be all her, her face don't match her neck and shit. She got a lot of makeup on. You got to blend. If you're going to wear all that, you got to blend your fucking neck, bitch. And get your, uh, and get your, the V-neck. Because uh, your face and even her. Uh, eyelids is a different shade. It's a different color. You gotta mix your you gotta mix your shit better. You gotta come more correct. Over Verizon's 5G network, it's gonna be insane. We have some special guests for you, so make sure you. Yeah, she layered that shit thick. You gotta mix that shit in, man. You can't just do and your now, face. Guess what I have? Two more world premieres for you coming in steaming hot, fresh from the oven. Let's take a look. A creature wanders restlessly through the Monster Hunter? Silver light. No, this look kind of old. The land and the it's a remaster. And with an entranced roar, it shows its true form. Leave the beast to me. This is a royal matter. Yeah, it is Monster Hunter. I knew it. Hina, sit down. We shall be in port soon. Sit. Sit. This is our outpost, Elgar. Sit down. I knew it was Monster Hunter. Hey y'all, you've been reckless with other people's hearts for so long, Jala. It was a matter of time before you wrecked your own. Morning, Ma. Wow, Jala. Hi, Auntie. You pissed off your exes so much, they organized against you. Are we flirting? A game? About fighting. About Close fighting your ex? What the fuck is this? Time to cook. She was fighting her exes. That's acceptable. 
This gotta be an indie game. Like a little small studio. Battle your exes, disappoint your parents, find yourself. Thirsty suitors. I'm straight. <laughs> Coming soon. Patience. I'm straight on that one. <laughs> I'm good on that. To Evil Dead the Game at the Game Awards. And tomorrow on Twitch's Winter Gathering, Jeff Keighley will chat with Bruce Campbell himself and Saber's Tim Willits about the game, which is coming out next year. And now we've got the world gameplay premiere of mm -hmm. another evil game, What's Evil that? West, which we also announced last year at the Game Awards. Let's Didn't see one. it. I didn't even watch the Game of Wars last year. Me alive all these years. Upkeep, maintenance, vigilance. Of course, all that means nothing when Hell's gates start spewing shit everywhere. Red Dead. What was what was Red Dead? Uh, Red Dead Redemption Zombie Mode called? Was it Undead? It was Undead something. Undead Nightmare. Is it like that? Is this game like that? Let's do the bad thing. He just looked kind of cowboyish. Just why I say that. Okay, there's a black dude. Kinda old. Whoo, you didn't see that coming. I don't know about you, but I am greedy for more content. Here's a new world premiere from Perfect Worlds. It's a lot of world premieres. Ah, good morning, Death. What a lovely day to be alive, wouldn't you say? Ready for another busy week in the afterlife? Oh my, busy may have been an understatement. Evidently, your sorrows have been working overtime. Oh my, really? Wow, that is truly unprofessional. Now, Death, we talked about this. Try not to lose your temper again. I kind of like this art style. I hope it's not like a pixel game. Showed you some respect. I don't fuck with pixel art, so I hope it's not like a pixel art game, but so far, I'm liking the art style of it. Well, you know what they say. If you want things done right, it's best to do them yourself. It look kind of fire. I don't play platformers too much, but it look kind of fire. I'm more into like, um, I'm more into like, uh, RPGs, uh, single player story games, uh, action adventures, strategy games. I do some uh first person shooters too. Yeah, like pixel art, uh platformers, a puzzle game. Like if it's just straight puzzles, I don't want to play that. So pixel art, puzzle games, platformers, and whatever top down games is like XCOM, where like the camera is above the player, I don't like that neither. So them like four or five categories of games, I don't play them. Every now and again, like a, every now and again, I'll play like Limbo, which is a platformer, or Inside Out. That's made by the same people. But I don't generally play platformers too much. Oh, Sackboy, Little Big Adventure, or Little Big Planet. But his his uh his fighting and shit in this game look cool though. Like he was getting down. 
It looked pretty smooth. So if I like got this on Game Pass or something, I'll play it. I'm not going on my way to buy it though. Hi everybody, I'm Ariel Power. The Game Award is coming up. We're watching and hosting a watch party together on Nate Hill's channel. Yeah, we're gonna be watching on twitch.tv slash Nate. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Shout out to him. And your medium relies <laughs> so is everything coming next or obscures it. It's basically playing God. Here are the nominees for Who best playing audio God? design. All right, best audio. We got Deathloop. Didn't play it. It was too new. Forza. Don't have an Xbox. Ratchet the Clank. I don't have a PS5, so I couldn't play it. I would have played it, but I don't have a PS5. Um, Resident Evil Village. Didn't play it. I still got to play 7. Is that 7? No. 7 is different. This is 8. I think Resident Evil Village, that's number eight, right? I got to play seven first. Returnal. I heard Returnal. I never played it. So let me see. Best audio. I'm probably going to say Forza is just racing. I mean, how good can the audio be? Make it sound like cars clanking. I'm going to go with Ratchet and Clank. And the game award for best audio design goes to... Forza Horizon 5. Wow. Wow. Hey, um, yeah, thank you. Thank you uh, so much. It must sound like the most realistic cars, man, because otherwise, I don't know why you would win. Um, our audio team throughout the development of Forza Horizon 5 have just been so passionate about everything that they do. There's this relentless appetite to produce an audio experience of the absolute highest quality. This, this award, it really does mean the world to us. Uh, I'm going to say a few thanks if that's okay. So, uh, mm -hmm. Fraser, Go ahead. Uri, uh, Mattia, Matt, uh. Rich, guys, you did it. This is for you. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Shout out to all the people he just named. Five. And now we have an incredible out Ray Ray. composer, Takeshi Furukawa, Ray Ray now. here to tell us more about his life. Let me shout out my niggas. They shouting out people. Shout out my nigga Monty. Shout out my nigga number four. Uh, shout out my nigga D-Rock. Rest in peace, man. You know what I'm saying? Who else I'm going to shout out? Shout out my nigga uh, Eric. I seen you. Shout out my boy. Shout out my boy uh, Justin. Shout out my boy Greg. Who else? Shout out Yana. Shout out Leah. You know what I'm saying? Shout out Rakia. I see you. I see you out here. Shout out Elijah. You know what I'm saying? Because we doing shout outs. It's latest score. Let's check it out. Hi, everyone. I'm Takeshi Furukawa. You might have heard my music. I am most known for my BAFTA nominated score for The Last Guardian. Several years ago, oh. I met with a new and exciting Swedish studio an old game. who shared with me their vision for a beautiful sci-fi story. The game centers around a heartfelt relationship between a young girl and an adorable creature. I instantly fell in love with the project and its stunning visuals. Here's a taste of the game. Unfinished the one? Soundtrack I'm working on right now. Is it Unfinished I one? I enjoy it. Unfinished one is a great game. They need to make a number two. Unfinished? No. Nah. No, nah, I didn't finish one. First off, if you never played Unfinished One, it was on the PS3. It's this game where the whole world is white and you play as this little boy. And to get through the level, it's like a um it's an adventure game. So again, the whole world is white. I mean everything. Everything is white, like it's just like it looked like a blank white screen. The way that you get around the level is you got to throw black paintballs towards just out. You just got to throw a little black paintballs out. It'll land on something in the environment and splash that black paint around. So you basically have to splash black paint to find your way so that, you know, so you can make a contrast between a white and a black. And it's a, it's a great game. Because if, if you don't paint nothing, it's just all white. Like you can't see nothing. It just looks like a blank white screen. But as, as you start throwing the paintballs out, you might hit a wall and partially splatter on that wall. You might throw something in front of you and hit a piece of a chair. So a piece of the chair, like the arm of the chair, get uh, painted and then the rest falls to the ground. So you're like, OK, it's a chair right there. 
and it's some ground right here. Or you might throw it out and it land in the water. Uh, okay, it's on water right here. Throw it by your feet. You see some grass because it painted all the grass black. Like, it's, it's a great game. They need to make a second one. But this don't look like that because it got too much color. The hell is you riding on, boy? A spider? Hell no. Hell no. See, there go an evil spider. See, that's why you don't fuck with spiders. Look, there go another one. You want to ride on a spider. Oh, I reprogrammed this spider. It's a good spider. Hell no, nigga. That shit's still a spider, boy. We don't fuck around with them. Look at you. See, that's because you fuck around with them spiders, see? <laughs> Planet of Spiders and Off Earth Odyssey. I ain't going to that planet. <laughs> you ain't gonna catch me on that planet. Man, I just realized this is about to be like two hours long. Okay, if y'all made it this far into the video, can y'all please help me timestamp this video? Because I am not keeping track. I've been sipping on this juice. I'm not going to remember like the timestamps for, oh, this trailer happened, this trailer happened. But I'm going to need to do that for this video. It's going to be a lot of different trailers that I'm going to have to keep track of. I'm going to try to go back and timestamp it, but this is a lot. If y'all watching it, y'all don't have to timestamp the whole thing, but just as much timestamps as y'all can. To keep track of where in the video things happen, that'd be much appreciated, man. Planet of Spiders, Xbox. I'm straight. <laughs> here it is. I can't believe it. We are already here. We are down to our final world premiere of our pre-show. It is a special game announcement. Something you did not see coming something i ain't see coming unfinished swan atlas persona yep i got it hello the game awards i come bearing news persona Ever 4 what happened after persona 4 golden now you can check out persona 4 arena ultimax on steam i can barely wait to show you how everybody's doing the hell is ultimax oh, i just played persona 4 golden uh uh, earlier this year and five. Them some great. I played five first and then I was like, all right, I got to go back and play uh, Persona 4. Well, it wasn't golden because I played it on. Persona 4 golden is the. uh No, was it golden? Yeah, they re-released golden on, on PC. Yeah, I did play golden. Yeah, I just played that earlier this year. Oh, I got to play Persona 5 Strikers too. I got that on the PS4. Anyway, let's get back into this. <laughs> oh, it's a fighting game. Oh, shit. Persona fighting game? Interesting. Persona 4 Arena Ultimax will be released March 17th. So that means it's coming out of April. On March 17th. April 17th. Okay. The order will be available very soon. <laughs> oh, how steamy. 
Okay. Okay, everyone. April seventeenth, huh? Me to hand it off to our main show. I hate to say goodbye, but I think I've earned a chance to chill out and have my mind blown with incredible awards and exciting artists. Oh no! Performances by Did you earn it? And Imagine Dragons appearances by Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, Jim Carrey, Ben Schwartz, and yes more world premieres coming up so soon for our main show and i just want to say i hope i didn't get too braggy about how many world premieres we had but you know what i'm not going to apologize because when the best of the best of game development but you just did apologize has that much to share i think we all you just apologized though you said i hope i ain't i wasn't too braggy that's apologizing when and when it comes to the game awards more is more baby thank you all for getting hey man the more of these juices i drink we about to get we about to get lit in this video i ain't gonna hold you <laughs> We about to get turned, man. Up with me at the pre-show, and congratulations to the winners of our first awards of the night. And that's it for me. I'm Sydney Goodman. I'm gonna go find my seat. All right, the peace out, Sydney. One game awards. Go sit down somewhere. Now. You've been on the screen for forever. Go and sit down. Okay, they fancy with it. They got actual pianos. With a, with the gold accent on the piano. I see what you're doing. You got the gold accent on the piano. Mm-hmm. I am the monster you created. With an old white man singing? You ripped out all my parts. You sound good, too. And worst of all, for me to live, I gotta kill the part of me that saw that I needed you more. You know we had everything when you broke me and left these pieces. Oh, he on that heartbreak. Hurt like you hurt me today. Oh yeah, he on that heartbreak time. I want you to lose like I lose when I play. What could have been? What could have been? Oh yeah, he hurt. Who hurt you, man? Who hurt you? Nigga yelling? I am your ghost, a fallen angel. You ripped out all my parts. Couldn't care what invention you made me, cause I I was meant to I hope I don't get copyrighted for this. Like y'all put it in the game show. Y'all better not copyright me, man. Matter of fact, I ain't even about to mess around with y'all. Cause y'all mess around and still copyright me, even though you you put it in the video. We gonna go ahead past you. You were sounding good though, man. Shout out to you, whoever you is. I'm just ain't trying to get copyrighted. You know what I'm saying? How are you not afraid of the future? Ratchet. With all of its unknowns. Why don't we just go ahead and tell her that we're divorcing? My daughter is not a weapon. Take him away. The fate of the free thinking world is in your hands. I know you've been meeting with her behind my back. It's not what you think, Mac. I'm talking to you. Right here. Even life. And you death. Oh, no. I sense suffering here, spirit. Keep it right here. You have to work on it. You can't just give up. Okay, I saw Horizon. Out of here. That's like Let's the only game I recognize. You are. I have been doomed to a life of solitude. Oh, Far Cry. Understand suffering. It will not be fine. It will be fantastical. 
I guess it's my time to shine. Halo Metroid. God gives victory Warcraft. to lions. When I look into your uh, eyes, Halo. I see lions. Sorry, could you repeat that? After him! No! Psychonauts, I think that's what that's called. I think that was Apex. You feel it? Yes. You want to stay a team? And I'm burping a lot of this juice. Some good juice. Enjoy the beach. One revolution Ratchet. is enough. Racing. In this loop. Welcome to the game. I recognize the few. 2021. Now, here's your host, Jeff Keeley. Hello, everybody. We're here. We made it. I'm Jeff Keeley, and this is the Game Awards Video Games Biggest Night live in person. Hey, that's crazy. It is Video Games Biggest Night because E3 is damn near out of here. So only thing left is the Game Awards. PAX don't even have everybody no more. Everybody's trying to do like their own shows. So this really is the, the biggest game in night. <laughs> At least biggest game in like convention or award. First of all, wasn't Sting phenomenal? So honored to have him open our show. That was what could have been from Arcane, the new uh, Netflix series based on League of Legends. Thank you so much, Sting, Ray Chen, and the Game Awards Orchestra, conducted by Lauren Balfe. That was absolutely incredible. Thank you, guys. Is well, Sting famous or something? I gotta say, it feels so incredible to be back here on stage at Microsoft Theater and streaming live to tens of millions of you around the world. This is a night for the fans. And, you know, the games we love are nothing without amazing developers. And that's why we do this show, to honor the creators of game. Oops. So welcome to all of you guys here today. So good to see everyone. But, you know, we got to be real and we can't ignore the headlines that are out there. Game creators need to be supported by the companies that employ them. Okay. I think we all agree with that. So let me... The fuck are you talking about, Jeff? You need to be supported by... Are oh, you talking about all them allegations that's out there? Like Activision? Okay. You could have just called them out directly, but... All right. Let me just say this before we get to any of the news or announcements or awards. We should not and will not tolerate... Any abuse, harassment, and predatory practices by anyone, including oh. our online communities. Yeah, he is talking about that Activision stuff. We all love games, and if we want this industry to keep growing, we must build an even brighter and more inclusive Call them out, future. then, Jeff. Say Activision. The games we play. Who are you talking about? And when the, the Who are you talking about specifically? Love, they teach us that we can impact the world around us. And tonight, I call on everyone to do their part to build a better, safer video game industry. Yeah, but who are you speak talking about, though, online. Jeff? Vote with your time and with your dollars. You speak out, Jeff. These world builders who are creating the future of all entertainment. And believe me, the future you're about to see looks absolutely incredible. We got a lot of good stuff for you. We have so much news to get to. But now, to present tonight's first award, please welcome a nominee tonight, and the star of Far Cry 6, the one and only John Carlo Esposito! Who? Oh, is he Spanish? Independence allows a game to go a little bit more wild. I didn't know he was Spanish. Stranger, and the freedom to break boundaries. Tonight's radically creative nominees for Best Independent Game demonstrate excellence achieved through great risk. All right, who is it? Here are the nominees for Best Independent Game. Okay. Best Independent Game. Look, I know this sounds weird, but the day's repeating itself. I heard 12 minutes was pretty good. 
McKenna, didn't I come out this year? Oh, well, duh. I mean, if it's the Game Awards, of course it came out this year. I gotta play 12 minutes. I'm gonna vote for 12 minutes. And the Game Award for Best Independent Game goes to... 12. Kena, Bridge of Spirit. Mm, okay. I'm one for I'm one for like three. Spirits also wins best debut. I got my first game. prediction right. I'm like one for three right now. Oh, it's heavy. Um. Well, yeah, you know, it, it was an amazing journey to get here. Um, <laughs> he said that shit heavy. He thought it was going to be cheap. <laughs> he thought that shit was going to be cheap. <laughs> he didn't know it got some weight to it. No, nah, nigga, this is a real award, boy. Oh, it's heavy. <laughs> he thought that shit was cheap as fuck. Um, well, yeah, you know, it, it was an amazing journey to get here. Um, took a lot of hard work from an awesome team. A few of them are here today, but just... Can't say enough about the amazing people we worked with on to make this game and to make the vision come true. Um, have to take our, our partners at Sony, who kind of believed in us from the very beginning, gave us a great opportunity, and all the guys at Epic who just have been there from the beginning. So thank you, everyone, and uh, this is a great honor. Thank you. Awesome. Congratulations, guys. All right, now it's time to look into the future. Two years ago, this team announced their game on this very stage. Now they're back Ooh. with the first gameplay reveal. When I saw this, I could not believe it was actual gameplay. But it is captured by the team in-game this past weekend. Sit back and get ready to experience a new level of cinematic immersion. Who is it? Elder Scrolls. And she said, Ninja Theory. With our swords, we will forge new Hellblade? stories to strike the gods that haunt us. This Hellblade? You might see me as weak, but I will show you what lies behind my eyes. Yeah. It is. Wait, they said this was in game gameplay? Suffering. Soothe our scars of grief and break their siege of our minds. You may see them as gods, but we will show you. What lies behind their eyes? Listen. Why are you so dirty? It's coming. He's here. That's my name. You can smell the way I want to see. He's saying, why y'all so dirty? Go take a shower. It knows our name. How does it know my name? To risk so he can smell you. life for what you believe is your sacrifice to make. Shh, to lead others to death brings a different kind of burden one that Senua would have to learn to live what is that? R.I.P. to everybody who with you because they all gonna die they not the main character the RPU in the front. RP all in the back. It's coming. Look at the bones. It's coming. Look at the bones. That's going to be you. That's going to be everything. Hey, who? <laughs> hey, who talking? Who is talking shit in the background? She's talking about some look at the bones. That's going to be you. <laughs> Ain't y'all on the same side? Who talking shit like that? Bro, how your own niggas talking shit on you like this? 
How about some? Look at the bones. That's gonna be you. Is that a Titan? Those whose eyes are attack on Titan? Are besieged by the ghosts that haunt them. Senua saw that to win the war, we must break this siege. Break it with an unshakable truth. Break it. Ugh. Impossible feat. Get ready. It's about to start. Y'all done went to the Attack on Titan universe? Get ready. That ain't good. Get Yeah, hey, RP old boy in front of you. I told you. Varric. He out of here. Mm -hmm. RP to him too. Y'all gotta hit him with the oil. Did y'all forget the whole plan? Somebody throw the oil on him. And then y'all hit him with the fire. Y'all had a whole plan. Do the plan again. Y'all need the oil. Y'all forget about the oil? Get your dirty ass up, man. That's not doing nothing. Get ready. Y'all should have seen from the first 50 throws that them not doing nothing. Did y'all have one little bucket of oil? that I don't know what just happened but they went over to attack on Titan somehow truly incredible that's not a cinematic and kept that's fighting that nigga with spears even though it wasn't years, working because the state of our art just keeps getting better thanks to Ninja Theory for that incredible piece and now it's time for our first of many brand new game announcements at the game awards I hope you're ready Ragnarok, God of War, Lucas, Star Wars. It can't be Indiana Jones. It's got to be Star Wars. A new Star Wars game. Yeah, there's a ship. It's in space. Yeah, Star Wars.
Yoda. So this is a prequel? Because why was Yoda there? Who was that fighting? Hold on. Try to slow it down. Who was that fighting? I don't recognize them. Oh, that's the count, dude. Yeah, I don't know you. Is this the old Republic? It's not even Star Wars music. What you got? What you chewing on? That's nasty. Eclipse, okay. What time period? Is it Old Republic? Quantic Dream. Wait. Isn't Quantic the people who made Detroit become human? Is that them? Hmm. What a way to kick off our game announcement. Star Wars Eclipse will be the first game Don't know what it's in about. the High Republic era of the Star Wars Galaxy. Oh, High Republic. Being created by Quantic. The fuck is High Republic? I know Old Republic. Um, like KOTOR, the Old Republic, with Revan and all that. Then there was the era with Yoda and Darth Vader and them. Obi-Wan. That's just like the Republic. What the hell is High Republic? Is that like... Before the Old Republic? Quantic Dream in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games and is currently in early development. All right, there are... 2025. Many more game announcements to come, trust me, as well as awards. All night, we are partnering with YouTube Shorts. If you have a favorite nominee tonight that doesn't win, let us know your thoughts by posting a YouTube short with the hashtag GotShorted and head to the YouTube Gaming Twitter handle to find out how to get your very own salty consolation gift. All right, right now, it's time to meet our first global gaming citizen, a program we started back in 2018. All right, hold on, y'all. I got to see the hell my dog eating. All right, y'all, I'm back. Had to do some things, take care of the dog, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know where we left off at. Well, we left off right here. I mean, I don't remember what came before this. Uh, Oh, yeah, YouTube shorts, whatever, whatever, whatever. I kind of lost my, my fake buzz with my fake juice, so I got another one. Delicious. Let's get back into it. Find out how to get your very own salty consolation gift. All right, right now it's time to meet our first global gaming citizen, a program we started back in 2018 to turn our air over to individuals who are building positive, inclusive communities around gaming. We're honored to share their stories. Global gaming citizen. I grew up playing games. Games was as a little kid, as a little a little gay boy, not knowing why I'm so different. Games gave me a place to feel safe and to be myself. Foi uma, uma, uma espécie de escape. Quando eu encontrei os jogos, quando eu comecei a jogar, eu acabei criando ali o meu espaço, sabe? Criando ali a minha o meu mundo. It gave me a reference to be inspired to build up all this drag, this insane costume, all this makeup, all this hair, but feel powerful. Because as a kid, I felt like I was the outsider. Your wig horrible, your makeup horrible. Your makeup horrible. Your makeup horrible. 
eu senti muito I mean, come here. I was getting on old girl for her makeup. You think I'm not about to get on her for her makeup? Or him? Whatever he wanted. No, he a drag, so it's a him. I don't know. But your makeup horrible, bro. You gotta fix your makeup just like old girl had to fix her makeup. De uh, atribuir pra minha comunidade coisas que eu não tenho. Y'all ain't mixing shit, man. Y'all gotta get on y'all mixing skills. Oh, wait, what's that little skeleton hand? That's kind of fire. I ain't gonna hold it. The little skeleton hand ring kind of fire. You gotta fix your makeup. You ain't blending shit. Now let's run Look at you, man. Look at your cheekbones. Your cheekbones. You gotta blend that. You just, you just got it out here. The so wig ain't popping. You don't have to be worried. The wig stiff. Make you different. They can be you know what what I'm saying? special. You gotta get it together, man. That ain't it. If you're gonna do it, do it right. Song of Nunu. Nintendo. AMD really is in the uh, consoles for PS5 and Xbox. They both use AMD. And they've been using AMD forever. They don't even use Intel or nothing. They always use AMD. So AMD really is the heart of consoles. But that's the boo boo. Pete Hines here. Man, fuck whatever you about to say. Drop Elder Scrolls yeah, 6, man. Got some stuff on sale. I don't Let's care about none of that. I want Elder Scrolls 6. I don't care about Starfield. I don't care about Fallout. Playing our games for the past Start, fuck you and that dog. <laughs> I need Elder Scrolls 6. And we're just getting started. From Ghostwire to Redfall to Starfield. Fuck this long ass code on the screen. Stuff fuck these old ass graphics. Yet. Where is Elder Scrolls 6? So if you can't imagine doing anything I've been playing Skyrim for the last 10 years, nigga. We have a I need Elder Scrolls 6. In fact, fuck you in that thick ass duck. In that thick ass out. So consider this your invitation to join us. There's a lot of work to be done, and we're running out of platforms. I need Skyrim Part Two, Red Guard, something. And because it's not simple to give anything away for free these days. I ain't listening to what you're saying. Cause I ain't hear Elder Scrolls yet. What? Talking about a whole bunch of nothing, nigga. Where's Elder Scrolls at? Mortals. I'm on your ass every year, P. Hines. Every year till you drop Elder Scrolls 6, I'm on your ass. More dangerous than you could ever imagine. See, this is one of them games I was talking about. The uh, where the camera is like top down. Again, I don't fuck with that. If it was just third person, I I'll play it. Open. But yeah, top the down games, pixel power, art games, uh, platformers. I don't, I don't play them. So like Diablo, I don't play that. It's top down and it's a dungeon crawler. I don't play dungeon crawlers neither. One chance to end this madness. I play RPGs, Find the strategy games, before um, first person gone. shooters. I dabble in some sports games. But sports games ain't like, I'm not no fucking 2K fiend or no Madden fiend. I dabble in it. But I ain't gotta have it.
I dabble in pretty much everything except for what I name. That was a new look at Lost Ark from Amazon Games coming in February. And speaking of Amazon, we're proud to partner with Prime Gaming on the Game Awards. This month, you can level up your gaming experience with free games, including Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, Tales of Monkey Island, and Frostpunk. There's always something new to play every month. And for the games you already own, you can unlock skins, weapons, and more, including in League of Legends, New World, Apex Legends, and Roblox. Check regularly for new drops and surprises at gaming.amazon.com. Next, in the days leading into the Game Awards, I read the internet. You ever have a, uh, if you a dude, man, and you got a mustache, you ever had your mustache, like, just have a hair or two that's sticking up and it's, like, poking your nose? That shit itchy. That's what's happening right now. It's like a single hair or something. Just sticking up from my mustache and poking, poking my nose. That shit itchy. I gotta like brush it or something to lay it back down. I don't know where my brush at. That shit is like poking my nose. It's itchy. I'm trying to, trying to lay it down. So I'm, I'm not picking my nose. If y'all think I'm picking my nose, I'm not picking my nose. I'm trying to lay this hair down and I don't have my brush. So I'm just gonna try to flatten it like that. Until I'm able to brush it. Bit of fear, wondering if some of tonight's big surprises might leak. This one sure didn't. It's time for a new game announcement that no one had on their bingo card. Enjoy. Okay. I don't play bingo, but I see what you're saying. Warner Brothers. My daughter. A new threat comes to our shores. Wonder Woman. And I must call you home. Restore what has been Diana. It's a Wonder Woman game. Night old enemies. Forge new bonds. You are a hero. But you can be more. You can be a leader. You are Wonder Woman. I wonder if they hit gonna have a Wonder Girl in there. From the Teen Titans. I mean, they should. They're the actors who portrayed Ellie and Abby in The Last of Us Part Two. Please welcome Ashley Johnson and Laura Bailey. Hi. Damn, I still gotta play Last of Us Two, hey, man. Here. The best performance category brings surprises. I played the first one. It was fire. Portrayals of wildly different characters. Tonight's nominated actors continue this tradition, once again stunning us with their extraordinary depth and dedication. Here are the nominees for best performance. All right, let's see who we got. Best performance. I see the I'm like about one for four so far. I've seen the worst parts of you. To rebuild paradise, the cost will be blood. I gotta play both of them games and this. I gotta play all three of these. Freedom. You escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Everybody chose to be here, Colt. Don't hide your true self! I'm gonna say, um... I'm gonna say, uh... Just because I'm biased, I won't... How you say her name? Ozima. Ozima. I... I could... I could... I could uh, Ozima, hold on, I got it, I got it. Ozima Akaga from Deathloop. I'm rocking with Ozima, man. Let's, I'm gonna say she gonna win. And the game award for best performance goes to Ozima. Maggie Roberts. Damn. All right, we one for five. I'm about to stop counting. <laughs> My first prediction was right. We won for five, though. Um, wow, that was the scariest walk I've ever done in my life. Um, thank you so much. It is an honor to receive this award, and it is an honor to be standing here in front of you all today. I would like to give a really huge thank you to Capcom for creating an amazing game full Which of- Which game is she in? I, 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 I was not listening. I was not listening. <laughs> uh, dynamic characters of- What game is she from? One. 
and to Rosanna and DJ with the Workhouse, to Steve Knibley, our amazing cinematics director. I've I was thinking before, about I'm other stuff. I was not listening. Record. You I forgot what game she part of. When you hired me for this role, and in doing so, you have changed my life. Being a part of this game, playing this role, and becoming a member of this, this amazing good juice. community has changed my life. So thank you so, so much. Yeah, that shit heavy, ain't it? Yeah, that's a real trophy. World premiere. Uh, days gone too. Come to a story with hopes and expectations. A zombie game. For an answer. Uh, Ghostwire Sometimes Tokyo. It would be better to live with that hope, without ever finding the story. Death Stranding 2. This is not the story you want it to be. This story will eat you alive. Evil Within? This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Oh, Alan, wait. 2024. Okay. Bet. It ain't getting no month for 2023, so it's coming out 2024. All right, I'm now joined by my man Sam Lake. Sam, thank you coming all the way. Don't over believe that date. It's this. 2024. Uh, this is so exciting. Alan Wake 2. It's been a decade. Fans have been asking you for it. Why is now the right time to bring him back? Well, Jeff, first of all, I want to say apologies. It's been raining here in Los Angeles today. <laughs> It's on us, I was like gonna fiction, say. <laughs> fiction leaking out into reality, so sorry. <laughs> anyway, yeah, 10 years, over 10 years. Uh, one thing to make this streaming of making it, we've been iterating on the concept and we know fans have been asking for it. We've been a bit protective. We knew this is going to be a pretty scary If y'all been working on this for so I long, we it should have had a more definite release date. Everybody is ready. What, you are ready. They don't even have a month, y'all. What are we going to get for the sequel? You got to pay attention to stuff like that. Yeah, we are breaking new ground here. This is going to be... They don't say holiday season 2023. They don't say spring 2023. Our take yeah. on the genre. Yeah. The first game... Had Which means they just hoping it, but it for it to come out 2023. Yeah. And we Which really means delay 2024. To bring together the story and gameplay closer than ever before. Because the story, horror story is at the very heart of this, and it's psychological, layered, deep oh, mystery I to cannot dive wait. into. I, you know, you are such an incredible visionary. I can't wait to see what you're doing with this game. I know you said to me a while ago, this was your dream project, and I'm so honored that we got to announce this here at the Game Awards. So we're gonna hear more next year, I think, right? Yes, we, you know, fitting to the theme, yes. we're gonna go dark okay. for a while <laughs> to work on this. Yeah. We'll be back next year summertime okay. uh, to show more. All right, summer 2022, more on Alan Wake 2. Sam, thank you so much for that announcement. Thank you. Very thank you. exciting. All right, well, now I'd like to welcome a comedian, writer, and a- It's gonna be good to put that in 24. Enthusiast. It's Ben Schwartz. Who? Sports. I played the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog in the Sonic the Hedgehog movies. Oh, thank you. That's what that is. Very kind. It's thank Sonic. Thank you very much. Uh, and I just wanted to say thank you so much for supporting our movie. Also, thank you very much for the note about Sonic's legs and teeth in our original trailer. <laughs> that note for real. That's a good note. That's a good note. I'm really happy that worked out. We needed that. Mm -hmm. We really needed that. The good news is... So many of you loved our first movie that we got to make a sequel. And today, yes! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Video game movies, come on! Yes! Sure, two other people at the end. Today, I brought with me the trailer to that sequel. Yeah. You brought it on a Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this, you can, this isn't like the real trailer. This is a blank DVD for effect. If this was the real trailer, I feel like uh, we, we'd be screwed because there's no computer with a DVD drive anymore. So yeah, that's what I'm like saying. Troublesome. 
Anyway, I can't tell you how excited we all are about Sonic 2. So many incredible people are in this movie. We got James Marsden, Tika Sumter, Colleen O'Shaughnessy who? Who? as Tails, Idris Elba as Knuckles. Of course. Idris has been on everything course, lately. Legend Jim Carrey as Dr. Robotnik. Now, Jim has actually sent a very special video over to say hello to all of you, and you guys are in luck, because I have the video with me right here. Oh, a callback, I'm happy, just kidding, this is blank still. Let's roll the video, Jim, what do you say? <laughs> hello, everyone, and hello, Ben. I'm sorry I couldn't be there with you, but I look forward to meeting all of your avatars in the metaverse, where we can really get- <laughs> In the metaverse. <laughs> hey, before you see this exciting new Sonic trailer, I'd like to pass on a word of advice that my Scottish grandfather gave to me when I was just a boy. He said, son, don't grade it in the grinder. Don't do it, son. Don't grade it in the grinder, boy. Grade it, by all means, grade it till the cows come home. But don't grade it in the grinder. And then to drive the point home, he put his hands around my neck and he squeezed he real hard. And he said, don't do it, son. Don't grind it in the grinder. What the fuck? Are you listening to me, boy? Kind of abusive ass, grandpa. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Inspiring words. Thank you, Jim. You know, I think we all needed to hear that. Yeah, take it in if you need to. Good? Great. Okay. Here we go. Thank you again for continuing to support the Blue Blur, and it is my honor to present to you the trailer for Sonic yeah, yeah. the Where's Hedgehog that? 2. Enjoy. Gotta go fast. Where is that? Sega. Quick stretch, little snack, and here we go. Sonic, I love that you want to help make a difference. Mind if I drive? This nigga fighting crime? Ah! But you're being reckless. Don't worry, nobody's gonna get hurt. Pretending to be Batman, Blue Justice, trademark pending. You're still just a kid. Woohoo! Trust me, there will come a moment when your powers will be needed. But you don't choose that moment. That moment chooses you. I just got goosebumps. Wait a second, did you steal that from Oprah? Papa's got a brand new stash. Seems like Didn't he get sent to another planet? The source of uh, um, in the first game? I mean, the first movie? That sounds big. It's been on my vision board for years. Hope I'm not too late. I'm sorry, who are you? King's Tales. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. Step one, light taunting. Step two, I have no idea. That wasn't too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Today's forecast calls for a 100% chance of adventure. <laughs> Return to sender. They gotta put that one song in there. You're never for the snow scene. Yeah. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go, gotta. Uh uh uh, and uh, uh, and uh, 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 keep moving on. Oh, Knuckles, what up, Knuckles? Do I look like I need your power? <laughs> Where are my manners? Sonic, meet Knuckles. Oh, he gonna be evil. Okay. Okay, Knuckles gonna be evil. So so fun. All right. Next we need we need Shadow. We need Shadow. We need um what's her name? Uh Cream. Big and Cream. We need them. We need all the side characters, man. Who's my one boy, the chameleon? From uh from Sonic Teams. We need him to pop through. We need Silver to pop through. Hey man, make like five movies. Fuck it. 
Tonight, our most anticipated game is Horizon Forbidden West from Gorilla Games. The team is hard at work back home in Amsterdam, finishing it up for a February release, but I'm grateful they put together this for the fans. Big W's for Horizon. I made it through like 80% of the first game. Um, it was very big, so I didn't finish it. But I made it through like 80% of it. So I'm definitely gonna play the second one. Oh yeah, these robots are gonna be turned. They're gonna be turned in this one. Got a grapple hook now. Got a big ass turtle. Whatever comes, I will be ready. Yeah, them, them, them animals upgraded. And that's it for damn show. They're gonna be tough as hell. My man going in on that flute. You see him? He going crazy on that flute. Look at him. He going wild with it. Put the camera back on him. He going crazy. He in it. He got his own dancer going and everything. All right, copyright, bro. I'm not trying to get copyright. Don't copyright strike me for this. Wow. Game Awards Orchestra, thank you so much. I am so ready yeah, for Shout this out to game. that flute, uh, man. Thank you so much to Lauren and the orchestra. And in her first ever performance and trip to the United States, the beautiful Julie Alvin. Thank you so much, Julie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, she cool, whatever. But the flute, man, shout out to him. I saw everyone posting their Spotify wrapped on social media. My top artists of 2021, Rufus DeSoul, Sam Fender, and Dayglow. You can make your Spotify wrap now in the app and stick around as we reveal for the first time the most listened to Spotify artists and songs on gaming consoles in 2021. Also on the music front, some of the music we've been playing tonight is from Sessions Diana. Sessions is Riot Games project with music made to be safe to stream without fears of copyright issues. Check out Sessions. Okay, cool. Riotgames.com to download the full album. And now it's Cause y'all know damn well y'all be fucking things over with that copyright shit. Cloud, let us defy destiny together. Gonna drop plate number seven. You're gonna do what? What the? Is this the rest of the remake? This will be a memory to cherish for the rest of your lives. What have you done? We deserve what's coming to us. Yeah, but I'm not your sister. Damn. She just disowned you. Let the hunt begin. Surrender to the darkness. Embrace it. This is just wrong. When is that game gonna get finished? Hundreds of games to choose from. Look, Dicky. Are you a player to do some? Download high quality. <laughs> Xbox Game Pass for PC. 2021. Game Dicky. Xbox Game Pass for PC. What he doing on here, man? What do we think? Uh, you know, it's so effortful. I like that we animated. You're welcome. Okay. 
I understand the impulse to do something big, but what do PC gamers actually want? Because I don't think it's that. They love brand new PC games. We have some great ones mm -hmm. on day one. Okay. Some of them haven't even been announced yet. Okay, great. Marketing idea. What if Gata tweets out this list, more or less leaking it in a cool, hip way? I retweet it because I have so many more followers than him. It's done. What's done? Tweet it. It's out there. No, you didn't. I don't what? think you should have put Proactivity ain't a crime, man. We'll no, figure it might it out. Be. When people think about Xbox Game Pass, they think about console. They don't know we're a PC gaming service. Why not just call it PC Game Pass? That's a great idea. Really good. Change. God dang. Okay, we're PC going with Game that. Pass. Just like that, you're gonna change the name of the whole thing because of Gata, who calls himself Gata. It's mm -hmm. a good name. All we gotta it do is, a good name. is add some top tier streamers to this to really land it. Gata, yes. <laughs> what about 100 Thieves? Big fans. Was that uh, 100 Thieves? Where are the other 97? I get it, that's funny. Thank you, man, we'll take it from <laughs> here, brother. We got cameos, we got ideas percolating, right? Next steps to me are just talking about like how we bill you. Wait, 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 uh, wait, hold on. Are we really gonna make an ad for the Game Awards and you're not gonna rap in it at all? I mean, if I could get away with that. Game Pass has PC games. Yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we are at the TGAs. TGAs. Guess that's kind of like saying we're at the, the Game Awards. Yeah, yeah. PC Game Pass. What the fuck is that code shit? I think this is the second song. P. Hans, little stupid ass. We, he didn't know it was Elder Scrolls, but he had code up on the screen. And now they just had code up on the screen. It look like PC keys. Like keys for um downloading games. Candy Crush, hell no. Skip your little goofy ass. Okay, Nintendo. Hello, Game Words. My name is Martin Foss Anderson, aka Mr. Savage. It's really bad if you're if you're stressed before you're trying to play a game and trying to win it. If I was stressed after school, I just wouldn't be able to focus properly, and it would just make everything. If you stress more than we, together with truth, I have an important message. Vaping nicotine can increase anxiety. Oh no, wait. He said he he said something about after school. If you in school, don't do no drugs. Symptoms and stress levels. Unless you want to call it. important to people know the truth about vaping nicotine. Are you talking about cigarettes? Oh, I ain't nobody trying to hear all that. Man. Nobody smokes cigarettes. Um, Twitch gaming, prom gaming, nobody cares. Now, please welcome actor Simu Liu. What you looking at on your phone, Playboy? Oh, hey guys, what's up? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Sorry, um, I'm I'm uh, here to present the Game Award for Best Action, I guess. Uh, and oh shoot, that's so sick! <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Um, so you know, as a martial arts superhero myself, uh, I, I know a little thing or two about action. And uh, oh snap, with the plasma sword! Mm. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, where was I? With the prompter, right? Uh, uh, action is the best when it's kinetic and, and fast paced and who is he supposed to be totally organic to the to the, uh, no you did not master chief oh you didn't sorry guy look you guys know that Halo just came out right and it's mm -hmm. and it's, it's literally sitting and I'm playing through Halo Reach for the first time over on my channel you know what I'm saying go check that out I never played Halo before and I'm going through the, uh, Halo Reach so far. Part one and part two of that series has came out. Um, I'm playing on the Nightfall mission next. But yeah, I just played through that. Well, I'm playing through it for the first time. So if you want to see me play through that, 
Uh, head on to my channel, man. In my living room while I, I gotta be here. And subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get the 500 subs, too. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, so, so instead of actually playing Halo, I'm, I'm on stage presenting the Game Award for Best Action while watching streamers on Twitch. <laughs> Seemed like a pretty reasonable compromise. Anyway, here are the nominees. Best All right, we won for five. Let's see if we can keep, come two for six. Back for blood. Nah, y'all gotta fix y'all. Y'all gotta fix some things. Back for blood gotta fix their level design and they um difficulty. Is not won by the fearless. It's won by the fear. Things have changed. Everything has changed. This action, Far Cry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, and the game award for best action game goes to. Far Cry. Returnal. Damn. We won for six, man. We're going to get up there eventually. What is Returnal even about? I heard the name all year long, but I never seen any gameplay of it. Never heard any of my friends playing it. Wow, <laughs> thank you. Uh, we are so happy to be here to accept the award uh, for everyone who worked on Returnal. Uh, when I first joined Housemark, I could tell Returnal was a really special game, and it was our amazing team that pulled it off and brought you the game that you played today. Uh, thank you to the amazing. Oh, so it wasn't even his idea. So why did he Finland, speak for everybody? Incredible co-dev partners. Who that old boy Returnal, speak. You just joined. Uh, our amazing partners. You just became day. gang. You ain't. You ain't. People and, who made it happen. Uh, everyone at PlayStation, we're so grateful we could build a game like Returnal. Uh, but biggest thanks, obviously, has to go to the players. Thank you for playing, and uh, thank you for supporting Returnal. Wonderful. Uh-oh, another world premiere. Let's see what it is. Is that? It can't be. Dinosaur bones? Just start at the beginning. We landed on Mars. It looked wrong. Like we were in a dream. Destiny and you boarded Sabaton's ship, the wicked thing, the lure. Yeah, we wanted to find her, try to gain the upper hand, but she was baiting us. This don't look like Destiny, but a little bit, maybe Destiny inspired. What happened next? My ghost brought me back. We kept going. She knew we would. And that's when you saw the night. <sighs> I'll never forget it. Woo! Some good juice, man. Some good uh, apple juice. We don't we don't promote nothing over on BONL. What's my name on this YouTube shit? Yeah, just like us. <laughs> What's my name on here? Oh, BNL, right. We don't promote nothing on BNL, man. I'm saying we drink a juice over here. Big apple juice. And you're sure. Uh, Absolutely sure. Excuse me. Salvatoon's illusions can fool the senses. No. I know what I saw. This is real. What made you push forward? We needed. Je mange l'alcohol. We can stop. No. Je mange le juice. What has No, je mange le juice. Is it mange? No. It's not mange, it's mange. Je mange. Je mange le juice. 
That's French for I'm drinking juice or I'm eating juice. Looks so. Wait, do they have a word for drinking? Monges eat in French. I don't know if they got a word for drinking in French. But I think it's this je mange le juice. Means I'm drinking juice. That's what I think. I don't remember a word for drinking. I know mange is eating. Hmm. If you speak French, let me know in the comments if I'm saying it right. So good. Uh, Destiny the Witch Queen that is coming out in February. Oh, so that was Destiny. Is actually from the uh, the first mission of the game, which is so cool. And Bungie is celebrating their 30th anniversary this year. So uh, congratulations to Bungie. And I knew it looked like Destiny or Destiny, Destiny right inspired. Now, um, to celebrate, but it looked kind of different from the base Destiny uh, Two. Right, now it is time to uh, get to another new game announcement. Uh, a few months ago, a uh, Japanese game creator reached out to me and said, "Hey." I want to announce my next game at the Game Awards, and I'm so honored to have this opportunity to present okay. this global announcement to all of you. Please Ghostwire enjoy. Tokyo. Silent Hill. Silent Hill 2. Silent Hill 3. Silent Hill 4. Loud Hill 5. Dirty ass street. Why you walking in them dirty ass streets, boy? And it's late. That's how you get your ass fucked up. See, that's a bad sign. Ain't no way she supposed to be in them dirty ass streets. Yep, see? You done fucked up. You done fucked up. Oh, The fuck is this? Parasite? Is this Parasite? Parasite the game? I can't read that. Slitter. Okay. Um, That's a fun oh. one. It's clear Toyama has not abandoned okay. his roots. Uh, thank you again for that very special announcement. Speaking of uh, just that, we have Ooh. another brand like the new game, game huh? to announce from a studio comprised of many industry veterans. Check this out. I look like some shit. Kind of deranged ass niggas made that shit. Man, if you don't shoot that nigga. Ever since the day the portal network collapsed, stranding us in these realms, we have searched for a way home. Lost. Alone in the dangerous labyrinth of fantastical worlds. It's not no fantastic world. Welcome to the lands of fame. You look like a fucked up ass world. It's not fantastic. Every portal is a chance for salvation. Uniting the lost survivors. Okay, that's a nice little revolver. Or leading us deeper into this nightmare. Definitely going deeper. Oh, that's fucked up. He just stumped on your shit. <laughs> <Our beginning of hope. laughs> Beyond Nightingale. Then he did two feet. He stumped on your shit. (laughs) 
Nightingale. Oh shit. A beacon of hope. He treated it like a sandcastle and just stumped on it. Reach. Damn, that's fucked up. As long as we stand together. That's fucked up. Our journey will unite us. You, the Realm Walkers, are all that is left. Nightingale. Okay. Looks interesting. What is it coming out on? What year is it coming out? Long what system is it coming me. out? And joining me now is Aaron Flynn nothing? from Inflection Games. Aaron They told they told us nothing. They didn't say what system, Xbox, PS5, uh, PC, what year? 2022, 23, 24. Nothing. Okay. So y'all just like in the in the first stages of making the game, then apparently. Because y'all gave us no info. Aaron, you were on stage at the first game 2024. in 2014, accepting game of the year for Dragon Age, and now you've got a new studio inflection up in Canada. Um, what kind of game do we get here with uh, Nightingale? Oh, well, thanks, Jeff. Yeah, so it's a survival crafting game, uh, shared world idea, so we want to bring players together, solo experiences, cooperative experiences, uh, lots of ability to go and explore these amazing, fantastical, magical realms we're going to give players. Lots of ability to come together, cooperate, uh, lots of opportunity for community building, that sort of thing. Wow, it looks incredible. I said, I love it. Show me this game. Wow. I was with you until he said shared world. Shared world. Shared world. Um, Because that tells me that there's no real end to the game. I was on board, but I need there to be an end to the game. If I'm playing it and I go through the story and all that, we can make houses and all that shit together. Co-op. Cool. That's all fine. But I need an end to the game, man. I can't be playing this shit forever. I was like, this looks so cool. We have to show this to uh, people. And it, you're pretty far along. That's real gameplay footage. So people will play it next year? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So we're going to be in early access next year on PC only. And uh, looking for... Early access. Yeah, 24 at the earliest. 2024 at the earliest. Four day inviting players in. If you want to see more, playnightingale.com. Amazing. All right. Well, thank you for that announcement. A nice surprise for the Game Awards. And it's going to take a year for early access. Coming up, but then it's okay. Another year for Polish. Game Awards second then they're going to release it in 2024. Box, a group of 50 individuals who represent the bright, bold, and inclusive future of our industry. You can see the full list at thegameawards.com tonight. We're also partnering with Google Play to have our future class mentor the next generation of women in gaming. Google Play's Change the Game aims to improve female representation in gaming. For the next 12 months, a selected group of teenagers will receive hands-on guidance from last year's future class as mentors. Right now, meet one of the new members of our future class. Oh, hi. I'm DJ Knight, and I stream World Touch. <laughs> oh, they gotta hate me right now, and I love it. My focus is primarily... Joy, everybody has the potential to be cynical about everything. This game sucks. I hate it. I hate everything it ever. It's easy to do that. It's much more enjoyable to find the good. Where your neck at? A lot of that started when I was in the military. Why well, you ain't got no neck? People shot rockets at your plane. It's a reminder that nothing is promised. Do you want to look back on your life and some negativity? Or you shout out to you for being, you know, in the military, but where your Hello neck world. at? Hello world, I'm Aaron Slobeck from Beat Games, and I'm thrilled you still, to announce our I'm still going to get on your ass. Where your neck? Lady Gaga Music Pack launches on Beat Saber tonight. See you all in multiplayer. Shadow of Mordor. Shadow of Mordor 3. Gollum, little ugly ass boy. <laughs> Shadow of Mordor 3. 
This little ugly ass. Golem got his own game. Hi Game Awards, it's Ms. Tech. Final Fantasy XIV just released its latest expansion, Endwalker. And to celebrate, they're partnering with Grubhub on something really cool. Check out this piece I did with them and enjoy the rest of your show. All right, everyone, let's focus up. It's time to rate. So add, I don't care. Exclusive. I'm a setting sun, but I'll never run. Five years of what? Eight maps. Are they good maps? I'm a dead man walking. What game is this? I'm a dead man PUBG. And kill till I die. Man, PUBG fell off, man. What's up, everybody? I am Ariel Powers. I'll be presenting the best mobile game, Ms. Makeup. The Survivor Rising. Afterwards, come join us for the Game Awards Watch Party on Nate Hill's Twitch channel. I'll see you soon. She looked good. It just hurt. She got to blend her makeup more. That's all. Back in the summer of 2019, I visited this uh, first-time developer at his studio in the United Kingdom. He told me his dream was to one day share his game with the world at the Game Awards. Well, that dream is about to come true. Enjoy. All right, what's this, world premiere? If y'all in, in a, um, I don't know what I was about to say, but... <laughs> For y'all who never watched the Game Awards before, how y'all liking it so far, man? Let me know in the comments how y'all liking the Game Awards. Um, it, they usually just show a whole bunch of new games that's about to come out in the future, and then they rate the games that came out in the past year and say who got the best audio, who got the best acting game, thing like that. Um, give out awards for the best games of the past year, but also announce new games for the future. So if, you, if this is your first time seeing the Game Awards, let me know how you, what you think of it in the comments. Is it fire? Is it trash? Any games you want to play that you've seen? What system you got? Maybe we can play together if it's multiplayer. Any games pique your interest? There's a few that peaked mine, but I ain't gonna hold you. I kind of forgot what they was. I'm gonna remember when I edit this video. Somerville. Okay. There was nothing really stand out about it. I cannot it. wait to play Somerville. Thanks to Chris Olson and the team at Jump Ship for that one. Next, we're going to head to the stage for a very special performance from a much loved game studio. Asbestos. Oh, it's more uh, music. I can't do that, man. Copyright. Copyright strikes. I can't do that.
Yeah, man, we gotta skip it because of copyright. I'm not trying to deal with none of that. This cuphead. Gotta be cuphead. Well, well, look yeah. Like it's bon voyage to our old pals Cuphead, Bugman, and the lovely Miss Chalice. They're off on their next adventure, this time to the fabled DLC Island. What challenges await in this enchanted land? DLC Island? What better way to explore the island than with a leisurely climb into the mountains? Just remember to watch your step. Or perhaps the icy tundra is more to your liking. Don't forget to pack your mittens. I like this art style. They're like old puppet claymation. Whatever shit. I like it. But what's this? Why, it's Chef Saltbaker with his famous cookies. He's the best baker in the land. His cookies are sure to put some pep in your step. Oh! <laughs> and you'll need it. For yeah, I really like this puppet style that they got going. It's pretty fucking fire. It remind me of like the old um Santa Claus show, the old like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer shows and all that. That's what it remind me of. Okay. Christmas 2022. Cool. We have a date, June 30th, 2022. It's so exciting. The delicious last course. Uh, all right. Next up, earlier you saw the trailer for Sonic 2, the movie. Mm -hmm. Now it's time for the little blue guy to give you a glimpse at his next game, also coming <clears throat> in 2022. Excuse me, New Sonic game, let's get it. It better be good. Over Sonic Frontiers. Okay. 2023. Great. A generic 2022 release means 2023. This is going to get delayed. TGA no desu. Eh, Kojima Hideo desu. Eh, koto shimo desu ne. TGA ni sanka deki nakute Eh, ご紹介します。どうぞ。I got a little job for you. It's just temporary. Oh, Green Goblin. They don't make no never mind who you are. Or what you done. Everything's got to be new what these the days. Fuck? Sensation. What was he doing up on that? On that stage. Gotta be new these days. What is he Since doing up there? Everything's gotta be new. You see him? Days. Sensational. Let the mirror show you. Oh, they got pickle are. babies. They crazy. What's your pitch, pal? You want to love them? I'd love to learn anything that you want to teach me. I can read a mark quick. 
find out what they want. It's a lot of um. Folks will pay good money. Famous old Make actors in this. Feel better. Yeah, Coop, Bradley Coop. When a man Kate Blanche. his own lies. And people get hurt. There's a lot of famous old people and in this. You lie. You try to find your way out. I warned you, didn't I? There is no way out. Wow. That was the best trailer I've seen since Dead Stranding. Now on to awards business. I am honored to be announcing the best art direction category. Mm -hmm. These nominees are well, we won for six. variety of budgets. Let's try to go two for seven. Each found their own path to combining visual design, music, and animation into their own distinct expression of intent and purpose. Uh, you know, one franchise I love the art direction in, Silent Hill. I hope we get a new one of those. Anyhow, here are the nominees for Best Art Direction. I don't think direction. we're getting a new Silent Hill. Best Art Direction. Okay, Best Art, Deathloop, okay. Uh, Kena. They'll fuck around and give it to Kena. Psychonauts. Watch they fuck around and give it to Kena, watch. The rest of the plank, um. The Artful Escape, it got the name Art in it. How can it not lose? I mean, how can it not win? It got and the name the Art in it. the award for best art direction goes. I want to say Ratchet and Clank, but I also want to say Keenan. But the other game with the, with the word Art in it, that's, that's a good one too. <sighs> I'm going to say the one with the name, with the name Art is going to win. But if not, Ratchet and Clank. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to say. Ratchet and Clank is second. But that one with the art name is probably going to win. Just because it, it hasn't won nothing yet. And it's probably going to be it's like only a war. They're trying to give it to them. Ratchet and Clank can probably win something else. Two. Deathloop. Deathloop? Oh, damn. I was all the way wrong. Okay, well, one for seven. This is super weird because last night I made the. Oh, how much longer is this game so awards? Giving this award, so uh, this is awkward. Got like another hour. <laughs> I will stick to my to my Shit. speech. So thank you, Guillermo. I might cut this bitch up. This bitch got another hour. Wherever you are. How um, long is this shit? Thanks to the Game Awards. I now have a flashback of when I was studying this thing, uh, the 60s era by watching his movie. Four hours uh, and got, it's five color. hours long? Um, it do not need to be this long. The colors, the lighting. So thanks for your indirect participation, Guillermo. Also, thank you for rewarding uh, or risk talking your on passion for visual um, expression or level of craftsmanship and our attention to details. That's a... Uh, our players seem to really appreciate, isn't it? Tonight, I'm proud, ladies and gentlemen, and I think the guys across the, the ocean at Arken are really proud too. Thanks to them for this fucking cool adventure. Thanks to my long time art buddies, Damien and Jean-Luc. Dinga Bakaba, well, thanks you, bro. We did it. Uh, thanks to the great people at Bethesda, Sony, and Microsoft. A big hug for our families and friends. And lastly, I'd like to dedicate this award to the boss, Robert Altman. Mm -hmm. Peace, amour, and French fries. Yes, I lost a bet last night also. Hey man, y'all might as well get comfy. This shit got a whole another hour to it. And we like an hour in or more. Congratulations to all the winners so far. And right now we are excited to announce additional winners tonight. In the 100% fan voted player's voice category, here are the. Okay, hold on. Halo Infinite literally just came out. Why is this part of this year's? It just came out like this week. That's not fair for it to be part of the game of, uh, game of the year contenders. It just came out like this week. But Forza, Halo Infinite, it takes two. Uh, Metroid. I didn't even know Metroid came out. Fucking um, 
Resident Evil. Halo probably gonna win it. The fact that Halo is even considered right now, and it just came out fucking this week or last week. Niggas is hyped off that shit, so Halo's gonna, gonna fucking win. We're gonna be two for eight off this. Watch. Final five nominees as voted on by fans. Watch. And the game award goes to Halo Infinite. What I say. Congratulations. What I say. It literally yes, just RPG fucking came out. Nominees are. All right, so we two for eight. Um, best role playing game. Cyberpunk is not getting that shit. It'll fuck around good a Monster Hunter or Shimigami Tensei. Um, I'm cheating, man. I'm putting in two answers: Monster Hunter and Shimigami Tensei. One of them gonna win. We're gonna be three for nine. And the game award goes to. Tales of Arise. Damn. Even when I cheat, I ain't win. For best score and so, okay, well, we, we two for nine and I cheated. That's crazy. Best score in music? Uh, probably near. I'm just saying that. I'm just going to say near. Well, Deathloop was nominated, nominated for audio, so their music probably good, too. It could be Deathloop. And music. Those nominees are. And the game award goes to. Near and Deathloop. Near Replicant. Yep. So we. Two for nine. Three for ten. We three for ten. Got a 30% hit rate. Next up is Content Creator of the Year. But first, let's hear from fans and creators themselves on who they want to win. For creator of the year, I want Dream to win. Oh, they got A Christine in here? Oh, shout out to you, man. I watch uh the fuck is her name? The uh Dwayne. I watch Dwayne and Jazz and they be playing with A Christine. So that's how I know about A Christine. So cool that she made it on here. Good luck, Dream. It's all about the beard, people. You gotta vote for Evi. Hi, my name is Emily. I would like to nominate Foosley for Creator of the Year. Well, let's see who was right. Here are the nominees for Content Creator of the Year. And so we got all these people that I don't know about. Um, can I skip? Can we keep my rate up? Unless I get it right, I'm gonna go ahead on a limb. And go with C, Eba. And the game award goes to. But this don't count because I don't know none of these people, so this one don't count unless I win. We three for ten. Dream, congratulations. So yep, it don't count. It don't count. It don't count. Here in person. <laughs> Here are the nominees for best multiplayer. I'm still three for ten. That one don't count. I ain't know none of them. All right, best multiplayer game. Bad for Blood. Hell no. Nah. It takes two. I already know what that is. Knockout City. It's an indie game. It ain't got no chance. Monster Hunter Rise. Monster Hunter could win it. New World, don't know what that is. Valhelm, don't know what that is. It could be Monster Hunter. Uh, it could fuck around and be Back for Blood. Even though the, the AI is super difficult, it could fuck around and be Back for Blood. Back for Blood and Monster Hunter. Uh, Monster, Monster Hunter. Your game. And the game award goes to. It takes two. Joseph, Damn. you did it. We three for eleven. I learned to keep microphones away from him. <laughs> three for eleven out here, man. At the best mobile game, please welcome WNBA player and Team Liquid streamer Ariel Powers. Oh, she in the WNBA? Thanks, here are the nominees. I didn't know she was in the WNBA. It's for best mobile game presented by Verizon. Best mobile game. Pokemon Unite. Although Genshin Impact has made a big impact. So. so I don't know. Pokemon Unite. Well, Pokemon Unite came out on Switch. It came out on phones yet? I don't know if it came out on phone yet. I got it on Switch. But Genshin Impact, niggas been talking about that shit all fucking year. And the game award goes to Genshin Impact. Stay right here. We've got more game awards coming. I'm counting that. I'm counting that as me. I'm counting it. That's four for 12. Up after this. 
What's good? Her little, her little awkward ass kind of cute. I ain't gonna hold you. Yeah, her little awkward ass kind of cute. Who was she again? What's good, Chicago? What the deal be? This is Kylie Adams here in full effect, rocking with y'all of the Spawn Me podcast, the premier podcast spotlighting people of color in the video game industry. I think when you have those really seminal moments. Oh, this some pro state shit. Look, man. I'm a black man in America, bro. I live every day in this shit. I know exactly what's going on. You ain't got to talk to me about it. I already know what's happening in the streets, man. I don't need to be thinking about it right now. I got to live this shit every fucking day. It's crazy out here for us, black people, man. Black men, especially, man, it's crazy out here for us. So, you know, thank you for making a little ad for everybody, but I'm good on that. I already know what's going down. I got to live it. All right, PUBG. With Amazon Luna, I can play all my favorite games straight from the cloud. Oh. What are you talking about? Yeah. Judgment. Nurse. Let's go. Upcoming series, The Book of Boba Fett. Please welcome. The Book of Boba Fett. Fett. Upcoming series, is that a show? A gaming narrative is more than a collection of cutscenes. It represents our own involvement with the story and its characters. To be nominated for the Best Narrative Award, a great game demands provocative dialogue and a captivating plot. But above all, it must exhibit a meaningful involvement with the audience. Mm -hmm. And also, just speaking as the mother of a son who loves gaming, Okay. It's nice when there's more to the story than just blowing up grenade factories and shouting obscenities at your alligator brides. <laughs> Here are the nominees for best narrative. Best narrative. This is what I'm about right here. Narrative. What's up? Every loop I'm learning a little. Damn, Deathloop is is getting a ton of nominations. I gotta play Deathloop, man. They getting a ton of nominations. More piecing together the puzzle. It was a spell, I am telling you. Oh! If it is a spell, how do we break it? I need to find out exactly what happened that night. Life is strange, okay. You have proven yourselves unworthy. Huh. Marvel's Guardians, hell no. Destroyed. My name is Rats. I don't fuck with uh, Guardians just because they look they look too weird. The, the characters look too weird, you know what I'm saying? I don't fuck with that, so I ain't fucking with them. But Life is Strange, I might play that shit too, man. I might put that up on the channel. I ain't gonna hold you. And um, Deathloop, well, Deathloop might take a little minute. But I played the original Life is Strange, so, you know, I'll play number two. And if y'all want to see Life is Strange on the channel, you know what I'm saying, let me know. Let me know what, what games y'all want to see in the channel in, in general. Um, I like playing games on here. Well, I got to get through Halo. We playing through Halo Reach. And then we're going to play through the whole Halo series. So that's going to take a long time. But if I can do... <sighs> no, I can't overexert myself. Mm. Yeah, I can't overexert myself. But if I can do um, maybe one more game while I'm doing the Halo, Halo series, let me know what y'all want to see. It can't be as long as Halo. So I'm literally gonna be playing through Halo Reach, Halo One, Halo Two, Halo Three, all the, all of them. So if it's, it got to be like a shorter game that I can play through, that won't take as long. 
So Life is Strange, I think I think that's shorter. I could play through that. I gotta play. I gotta play The Last of Us too, but I know that that game is kind of longer. And I'm already doing all the Halo, so I can't really be doing like another long game. If it's like a short game, I could probably squeeze it in, but not another long one. Today is my first day on the job. I'm going to say between Life is Strange and Deathloop. And the Game Award for Best Narrative goes to... <laughs> Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Damn. What are we, 5 for, five for 12, 5 for 13? It's fucked up. We 5 for 13, that's fucked up. <laughs> He's trying to get up them steps. <laughs> okay, that was a surprise. Uh, <laughs> there are so many people responsible for making this such a wonderful thing. I want to thank Marvel Game Studios for trusting us with their characters mm -hmm. and for allowing us to make them our own, for our fabulous cast, for bringing them to life in ways that words on a page can never do. Yeah. For Olivier, our producer, Hubert Dayup, my game director, the entire crew who worked Shout on out it. to the whole France. And of course, my wonderfully wonderful. All of them got Jackie, French names. And many immensely talented writers. Shout out to the whole France, Thank you know what I'm saying? For making comedy Shout look out to easy. Thank you for not complaining too often when I pushed you to remember our main themes of grief and to go deeper. Who am I kidding? I know you complained, but thank you for not doing it to me. <laughs> thank you, everyone. This is an honor. Hey, that trophy got some weight to it, don't it? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. We got another hour. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop right here. And we're going to do the last hour. Probably another video or something. Unless I put it together. I don't know. I'm going to see how we edit it. But uh, it's already been like three hours long. So if I see y'all in the next one, you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments what y'all thought about the Game Awards so far. What's been y'all favorite games? Uh, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 500 subs. Shit, man. You know what I'm saying? Just let me know something in the comments, man. I'm just trying to find out how y'all how y'all rocking with it. As you can see, I've been enjoying it. You know what I'm saying? I've been drinking juice. I've been enjoying it. But let me know if you've been enjoying it. I'll see y'all in the next video.